home and I have to get ready to go to Sarah's house because we're doing something special today. I'm not sure if I get to fill you in in this YouTube video yet, but if I do, we're Good morning. We are doing a day in the life vlog today. Just gonna show you a day in the life in Utah, you know what I mean? It's kind of folly weather. It's beautiful outside. This morning, I actually have to run because I'm gonna be late for my class. I'm going to burn boot camp for a little workout and then gonna go to Sarah's house for something exciting in a little bit, which we'll tell you about. This is the fit today, just a sweater. I got these new Nike Metcon freeze, 10 out of 10, love them. I used to just have the Metcons and they just like are not a great, running shoe and burn kind of has some running stuff in it and so these are better for the hit workouts that have running in them because they have like more bend and like support for running but then they also are like flat enough to squat and you know what i mean bye stinky stinky ozzy <laughs> bye Okay, so typically in the mornings we have a babysitter come for a couple hours so Tanner and I can go to the gym and then I usually get work done while they're there. And then on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Ozzy has preschool. And when she has preschool, Stella takes her nap. And so it's kind of nice because that like lines up and I can get work done while they're asleep and then at preschool. They both hate when Tanner and I leave to go to the gym. We're only gone for an hour, but they just love us to be around, like be at the house with them. So this morning I kind of like snuck out. I didn't want to make a scene, but Ozzy loves coming out and waving to us goodbye when we go to the gym. It's like we're going on a trip when we go to the gym for an hour. But yeah, so that's a typical thing. Sometimes she'll even come out to the driveway and just like wave until we're, <laughs> until we're gone. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. I haven't taken pre-workout in months. I've been just sipping like on an energy drink in the morning. I'll take like three sips of an energy drink. And then when I come home, I'll have like a few more sips to like push me through the afternoon. And this morning I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take pre-workout. I haven't like had like true pre-workout before the gym in months. And I was like, let's test it out. Um, my face is about to itch off. Like I fully forgot about like the freaking tingle face, but I'm feeling motivated to go work my little booty out you know what I mean wow what else we just did daylight savings and so now it gets dark at like freaking 5 p.m. and then it feels like the kids should go to bed like two hours later and then you're just like what the freak like it's still only 6 p.m. like I don't understand it makes me so sad Okay, so this is so weird, but like I have never eaten before I work out. Like typically I'm always working out fasted, not on purpose, but just like I'm not like hungry right when I wake up. And then it usually makes me feel like sick if I eat before workout. So I usually eat breakfast like right when I get home. I usually have like my protein bar, my protein shake or whatever. But the last two leg days that I've done, I have literally almost like passed out or blacked out. I don't even feel hungry. It's like, I just get so dizzy. And it didn't happen to me like on the arm days. I was like asking the coach there and she was like, sometimes on 
leg days, people will get lightheaded or dizzy because there's like a main artery kind of right here that you can block when you're doing squats or like lunges or hip thrusts or anything like that. So you can get like dizzy or lightheaded. And I think that's what's happening to me because it's not happening to me on the other days that I'm working out. It's just the leg days. And so I'm like, what the heck is this? This has never happened to me. But this is the second time I've freaking had to like stop and pause during a workout because I'm like, I'm literally gonna, every time I stood up, I was like almost blacking out. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, I'm gonna try and like start eating a little something before I work out, see if that helps. It's so weird. Okay, so right now we actually have cleaners coming to the house. We've been using Homoglow and it's so nice because all you do is you go onto their website, you choose the day and the time that you're looking for cleaners to come. And then they find like all these five star cleaners that are in your area that will be available that day. And you can kind of like look through their pictures and their profiles and they've all gotten great reviews. And you just choose from those and then they come on the day that you've requested and do a really great job. It's nice because if you sign up for their forever clean membership, you can get cleaners to your house starting at $19 an hour, which is such a great deal. It's also nice because you're supporting cleaners in your area because 100% of the cleaning fees plus tips go to them. Anyway, we've really loved our experience with them. We're going to show you our before and afters because it's so satisfying to see once it's all deep cleaned. A big thank you to Home Glow for sponsoring this video. Okay, so right now I'm going to Costco and I'm going to get some groceries and then also I want to start doing some of my Christmas shopping because I feel like everyone here is on top of Christmas shopping and and then things just are like sold out and gone by the time I start doing Christmas shopping. I'm a last minute girl. And this year I'm not gonna be a last minute girl. So I heard that there's some cute stuff at Costco for Christmas presents for the girls. So I'm gonna go there, do some multitasking by grocery shopping and get a little Christmas shopping done. We need to decorate for Christmas before we leave to Hawaii because we leave the 21st of November and we're gonna be gone for three weeks. So we don't come back until December 11th. And I want Christmas to be set up when we get back home because I want it to be Christmas vibes when we get home but right now let's go to Costco see if they have anything cute maybe some Christmas decorations are there that I'll like but let's go all right I'm in Costco and obviously I have to get gingerbread houses and they're $13 right now so kind of sick look at how cute so cute these are the friggin best things known to man right here just finished at Costco got a bunch of stuff. I ended up not really Christmas shopping because the thing that I was like looking at was the dollhouse that they have there. It's like five foot tall dollhouse. It's super cute, but I just don't think it's exactly what I'm looking for. But I did get a lot of groceries and what's sick is we installed our house blinds through Costco and they gave us a Costco cash back card because of it. And so everything that I just got was free because I just used my cash back card. So girl math, they're paying me to shop at Costco. I'm home and I have to get ready to go to Sarah's house because we're doing something special today. We're f I can't wait to release it. It's gonna be so much fun to just like be able to have this other outlet with her. So really excited. That's what we're getting ready for. Okay, so my favorite thing I've been doing lately is spray with heat protectant, obviously. And then I've been taking the Dyson and just doing the front like four pieces in rollers and it gives it just enough volume, but then it's like still like, nice and cash, you know? Hi. Yeah. Did you vlog? Hello. Time will tell. Yeah, I got some clips in the other gym. You did? I and mean, then yeah. what else? And I took some videos of the, how the house looked before. I nice. Was. And that's it. Peace. Mama? Yeah. Oh, I saw you. I saw you. Get higher. Oh, there you are. <laughs> My bangs have grown out so much. They're not even bangs anymore. And then I let those sit while I finish my like makeup and hair and then voila. So now I'm just curling the underneath. Alrighty. Gonna do my face and then take out my hair. Okay, this is the final hair and makeup. Got 
pink going on. Curls gotta go get dressed now. Okay, I gotta wear like a touch of pink because that's the vibe that we're going for. What should I wear? Maybe like a pink jacket or, hmm. But what will I wear? But what would I wear? All right, this is the final look. Some baggy jeans, pink top, pink jacket, and a pink bag. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is outside. Okay, so I just dropped Ozzy off at preschool, and I was like standing there checking her in. Her teacher's like, she surprises me so much. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? And she's like, she's just so smart. And then she keeps going and she's like, I usually start with like certain sounds, certain letters, certain numbers. And with Ozzy, she's like, I have to like skip ahead. She's already good with all that stuff. And I was like, well, that's amazing. I was like, we've noticed that she's like really quick to catch on to things and really smart, but you never know when it's like, especially with the first kid, I don't know what to compare it to. Like she's just our first and that's just all we know. And so it is cool to see her teacher recognize her for how smart she is. So we got a baby Einstein is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And something that we've like all noticed is like she is so shy when there's a big group of people she's usually pretty like wants to stay by like Tanner and I it takes her like a lot longer to warm up to like play but when it's one-on-one -on -one with a friend she like warms up way faster and they play like so good that's just some fun facts about Ozzy is she's really good playing one-on-one -on -one with friends all right I'm almost to Sarah's house she's trying to call me so I got give her a call back all right we're here setting up and don't be fooled derek just barely came in here and didn't help at all you're not you're not in this <laughs> you're not a part of this <laughs> no you guys are gonna need me there's gonna come a point where you need my help i think we got it on lock all right sarah <laughs> i'm kind of thinking we won't need his help you guys don't want me to mess with any of these uh no don't touch don't, touch. <laughs> don't freaking touch that it's gonna be fun okay lauren's at sarah's <laughs> freaking awesome and I'm over here making eggs. Equally as cool, probably. I don't know, I'm gonna put it on a bagel. Some cream cheese. Ozzy just got dropped off at school, still is asleep. The cleaners are here, it's looking awesome. And then I'm probably just gonna like work on some house projects. I don't know, I'll let you know what I do. Okay, house is spotless. Yep, that's nice. Not a lot of things nicer than a clean house. Who's away? <laughs> Ozzy, Ozzy's at school. Should we go get her? Do you want to take the car or the bike? Good. It's kind of cold. Ow. Should we take the car? Yeah. Did you have a good nap? Did you sleep for a long time? Time. Did you have any dreams? No? Time. What are you saying? Uh. <laughs> I love you. Laundry. Apparently the trick is you fold them out of the dryer. I've been doing that. Okay, six loads of laundry later. That's really all I've been doing. The girls have been playing with each other. Now we're onto the boxes. I got that many done. I have that many to go. Our recycle only comes once every other week, but that really means that they come like once a month because Sometimes I can't get the dates right, and so I bring, I forget to bring it out. <sighs> anyway, the girls are playing forts. Of all the boxes, mommy's home. Mommy's home. I'm finally home. That was like a long day away. I was with Sarah for so long. That took so much longer than I thought it was gonna take, but we got it done and it, I think, turned out really good and I'm really excited. But the house, nothing better than getting home to a freaking clean house. Take home cleaning off your plate by using Homoglow. Head to homoglow.com slash Beeston or scan the QR code to get your first three hours of cleaning for only $19. Look at this place, it's beautiful. Lauren stopped off at the store, got us some stuff for some Greek wraps. And now we're moving to dinner mode. Laundry's done. Most of the boxes are cut. It looks clean here. Food, food. I'm gonna make you some food, baby. We're having a little Greek night. 
So Tanner's cutting up some tomatoes, some cucumbers. Yeah, yeah. We've got feta, we've got hummus. I got tzatziki at the store and some non breads. So freaking good. <laughs> Stella is obsessed with cuties. Kale. You love it. Kale. Say, I love cuties. I told you. Say, I, I love you. <laughs> Say, cuties. 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 Want me to put it in there? Yeah. The peel? Dinner served. This is what mine looks like. I'm not gonna be able to finish all that. I'm a hungry, hungry girl. Hungry, hungry hippo? Yeah. That was a super easy meal. <laughs> this looks so freaking good. Do you I like just, your food? I just I came up with this bread. recipe out it of nowhere. It tastes like candy. Oh, good. <laughs> what do you think? I'm a magician. I'm a I wizard. <laughs> Everything made, pre-made. <laughs> Not anybody could just whip this up. We got this idea from our dear friend, Maddie Castellano, who was here and stayed with us for a month and made this meal. And now we're eating it. Me, me, mm. me, me, mm -hmm. me. It's good. Me. Are you getting my fingers? No. Ah, see? What else am I gonna do? It's called wash your hands at the end of dinner. Don't worry about what happens during dinner. Just eat that bread. In other news, we took Stella to the doctor to do like a little checkup and to check up on her collarbone to make sure it's healed and they both did like well checks. And guess what? Stella's all better. So happy. The doctor was like, yep, it's all healed up. She looks good and we were like, yeah, we were nervous because she like, was trying to use her arm the whole time and like it was hard to keep her in the sling at all times and she was like, oh my gosh, don't even worry. What did she say, Tanner? She was like, oh, that's silly. And I was like, oh, what silly. She's like, trying to keep a two-year-old in a sling, that's silly. She's like, honestly, we a lot of times they won't even know if they broke it because kids just like keep being kids. Yeah. And so she was like, good job for trying to keep it, but honestly, that's like not even really the ball. Like it just will heal if it's not like totally separated. Yeah, it made me feel so much better. And I'm just glad that it's all healed up because it was just a small fracture on the top. So it wasn't all the way through or anything. So anyway, super happy that that's done and that she's back to her normal little Stella self. No sling Stella. No sling Stella. Who wants to make sugar cookies? These are the ones that I'm making. They're the best. Okay, let's do it. I need a pan. Can you go get me a pan that goes in the oven? Do you know where they are? In the bottom drawer, over there. Did you find one? Not that one. The one that doesn't have any bumpies on it, just snooze. Yeah, that's perfect. Good job. Thank you. Ozzy, what you guys doing? Poopy pee pee deeps. Poopy pee pee deeps? What are these? Elf cookies. Have you even seen that movie, Oz? Remember we were watching it at Papa's house. Papa and Grandma's. Oh, little tiny cookies. Tiny cookies. Having a struggle time opening it. Oh, they're so Oh, don't just touch them all. Oh, you guys are stinky. They're so tiny. They are so tiny, huh? Should we put them on there? Yeah. Can I put one on there? Sure. Do you want to put one on? Good job. Here, baby. Good job. Cookie. We gotta okay. space them out a little bit. They don't touch each other. Why? So that they don't touch each other. They get smushed. Yeah. Okay. I gotta heat them up. Oh, you gotta heat up some. And then we just put them in. The cookies are done. Do you wanna see them? I see them. See? That's the one that I pushed. Yeah. Gonna let them cool down for a second, okay? Then we can have a cookie. Do you want to pick one? Yeah. Pick one. Um, They're still warm. I got this one. Try it. Uh oh. Did it kind of break? Yeah. That's okay. Do you want a new one? Here. Yeah. 
of this one. Oh. Yeah, bite it. Mm -hmm. Why well, always break? Is it yummy? It's okay if it breaks. It's still yummy, right? Yeah, Is yeah. it yummy? Do you like it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Take yummy cookies. Yummy cookies. <laughs> Okay, the girls are asleep. We just put them to bed. And now it's time for us to have our little veg hour. Yeah. And we've been watching Yellowstone, and it's so, so freaking good. It's, so it's good. wild. We all, both want to be cowboys and cowgirls. Classic. And we both want to live on a farm with horses, but not necessarily have that crazy of a life. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so... I hope you enjoyed this day in the life vlog. It was fun to, what am I saying? It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. We love you guys and we'll see you next video. Hope you enjoyed this day in the life vlog. <laughs> bye bye. bye.